Good morning from the perfect day at Coco K. We are about to back in. Looks like he's spinning. Well, from what it looks like, we're going to be having a little company. Well, not really too little. The Oasis of the Seas looks like it's going to be joining us here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. One of Royal's mega ships. And there she is, officially the Oasis of the Seas with the stage in the back. She's coming into Coco Cay. Right now, we're going to go get a seat. Here's Kat. Yes. And we want to try and beat the mega ship in so we can get a seat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Last time we were here, we were the only ship here, and this was post-COVID, so the ship was 30% full at the time when we were here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So it was empty. Now we're gonna have a mega ship pull in with us. Now it's gonna be 100% full. Yeah, so we wanna get a chair by the pool this time. If you have not seen that video, the link is down below in our cruises playlist. Um, <laughs> There's a full tour of Perfect Day Cookie, which is one of my favorite private islands. There's a playlist down below of the Perfect Day Cookie where we did like a whole tour of everything because it, it was empty. I'm gonna see what we can do now. But as you can see, this is our ship right there, and that big guy is coming in right there. So we're heading that way to the Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Just for you to see, it keeps getting bigger as it gets closer. Look how big this mega ship is. And this is Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So right across the way from Perfect Day at Coco Cay, that's Norwegian's private island. And we have a whole vlog when we visited that island on the Norwegian Escape. So that's on there as well. That playlist is down below. Oh, they're now both parked in Coco Cay. The Oasis of the Seas and the Independence of the Seas. Look how huge that ship is. So when we head back into the room, before we depart, we're probably gonna be the first one to leave and we can see that book apart as well. Here's the Coco K Water Park. Yeah. 
Captain Jack's. This looks like to be new. This is a new this restaurant. Was not here. This was not here at Cook, okay? So this is a new addition to the island. And it's a restaurant here. So let's see what they got here. This is an extra upcharge though. This is an extra upcharge? I think so, yeah. Well, we can always double check to see if it's an extra upcharge. Go to the pool, huh? Okay, so it's this way. That's the lagoon. That's the lagoon. Go to the pool. Wait, there's a big ship. Drink up me, howdy, yo ho. Yeah. Look at that tower, that slide. Look at that. Now that's something you want to slide down. I don't want to climb those stairs. Yeah, I know. They should. They should. They should put an escalator in that for us old people. But yeah. You know. I don't want to climb those stairs. That's the only reason why I'm not going up there. Plus the fact that the water park is an extra charge. But I mean, you have beaches, you have pools here. But if you, your water park's your thing, go for it. Oh look, they added like a little splashy pad for kids. Oh look. Go in there. I'm not a little kid anymore, but I'll go in there. Oh, but look, that, that wasn't there. You got the water park option, but for the little ones, they added a splash pad. Yeah, look. That's something really new. Get the Coco K shops to the right. This all looks to be new too. Yeah, this pathway, I don't remember this pathway. I guess these are the new upgrades to the island. Yeah, Oasis Lagoon Pool, this way. Yeah, we're going this way. There's some shops over here that we can look at. Showers. It's a little shop. It's a little shop. One of the things about uh, Royal Caribbean's private island is the drink package is included. <laughs> and you can use your sale and sign card to purchase things on the island, except for the little marketplace for the locals. But they do have stores here where you can purchase items that you need, including t-shirts. And if you get lost, they even have on the app, the map. So one of the things that we have not shown you that most cruise lights now are doing the app thing. So right now you pull it up on the app and they give you the map of Coco Cay right on your phone. You can also explore the ship and anything that they're doing at Coco Cay just with the touch of a button. So let's say we wanted to go on the map on the ship. You do that also. You can see what's for dining, entertainment, any shops, excursions, services, all on the map. You could even see what you're doing and what you have. That I like. No more carrying around paper or getting lost on an island. Although, as you see as we're coming up to, they do have a map of the island as well. Well, here's part of the Skipper's Grill. I guess that's where everybody will go for lunch to get oh, your burgers. Better than just lunch. Oh yeah. Not just typical morning, not just typical burgers. They have tacos here, tons of desserts. Royal Caribbean outdoes themselves with food, not only on the ship, but on the private islands as well. Right, Rob? This is true. Oasis Lagoon Pool, straight ahead. So that's where we're going. But that's where everybody goes for the food, right there. Restrooms. I love these shaded walkways because sometimes the ground can get hot. Oh, it looks like this is the pool. Oh, it's empty over there. You got the restrooms right there next to the pool. And the food is right here. So I think maybe we should choose a spot over here. Yeah, I think we're gonna choose a spot right over here because it's easy access. Yeah. And this pool has a walk up or, not a walk up, uh, what's it called? A float up pool. No. A bar in the yeah, pool. Yeah, a bar in the pool. I'm sorry, I said float up pool. <laughs> so we're just trying to get our seat really quick. Sorry, it's like all over the place and bouncy, but we want our seat because we got a big ship coming in and you gotta get a good spot. This is what the pool here looks like. Uh, come on. So let's go get one with an umbrella. You wanna choose this one right here? These two by themselves? Right here. 
we're like in sun, but we can have shade. This one here or this one here? Which one? This one's dirty. How about this one right here? Well, right in front. Right in front. All right. And we have chosen a winner, folks. We have chosen a winner. Mine. This is mine. Yep. So, comes with an umbrella. This is something that my parents would love because you got tons of chairs, you have umbrellas, and it's all included. Unlike other private islands where you have to pay for this, on the pool side. But they have plenty of chairs in the water, you'll see in a few minutes. They got beach chairs by the beach with umbrellas. So it's really a good option where if you want to take sun, you can take sun. If you want shade, you got shade. You got the whole day here. It's literally the perfect day at Coco Cay. It's the official thumbs up. Okay. Everyone's seen me with white gauze and now a band-aid. I have to explain. We were having a family dinner and I was cutting potatoes to make french fries with winks. Unfortunately, I was betrayed by a potato because I was using a mandolin. Which was the first time we used a mandolin. He always uses the knife. We're always very careful. And he was using the guard. So Accidents happen. So guys, if you use a mandolin, please be very careful. I was betrayed by a potato and it slipped and my thumb went with it and you can only guess from there. But he's okay, he's healing, he's on, on doctor's orders and... <laughs> I am still here, the thumb is still here. So Rob is okay. We're okay. If you've seen it, we didn't mention it before, but we still went on our trip nonetheless. And I think we're gonna invest in a chopper. In a chopper or something else, or I just may retire and just use frozen french fries from here on out. <laughs> I don't know, you let me know. <laughs> But it sucks the night before a cruise. Yeah, you don't want to have any injury. This I mean, happens. This has so, been a trip to remember, honestly. We're going to show you the rest of Coco Cay. So stay tuned. We might just stay at the pool all day. Who cares? No, I think that is the plan. <laughs> but there is an a, a island tour that we went previously on our previous trip from Royal Caribbean. So check that out. If yeah. anything comes up new, like the captain's uh, grill, We'll definitely show you guys when we walk around later. Yeah, we'll show you any new updates that happen on the island. Yeah. And by the way, it's been approved. He approved it. We're staying on by the pool. They have some picnic tables over there and more chairs, but that's the beach over there. Well, there's lagoons. There's a man. There's a man-made lagoon, and then there's the beaches, and then there's the oasis pool. So As our nostrils are telling us, food is that way. Okay, which is over here. The toppings, the tacos. We have the grills. We have the hot dogs. No line. So much it's, food. It's, no line. No way. Look at place. that. This is what they got here. Toppings. They have tacos here, burgers, hot dogs, chicken. My wife just called me. Portobello mushroom sandwich, Cuban sandwich, ribeye. This is what they got here. Toppings bar, lettuce, tomato, mayo, salsa. Uh, let's face some parsley, I guess, for the tacos. This is the taco station here. You got beans, Mexican rice, corn tortillas, black beans, and it is pork carnitas, chicken carnitas, flour, 
Here it's another sandwich and salad bar with the same sandwiches. Another part of the burgers, hot dogs, chicken. The bar is here. And they have a fruit station also. Watermelon, fruits. They have cookies, brownies. For fruits, they got pineapple, watermelon. Again, the bar is here. And this is where you get your juices, your ice. Ice cream also is here. So juices, this is what they got for juices. It's a nice place to come with a perfect day at Coco K. Now let's see what we want to eat. We're always pretty bad at showing food. I don't know, it's just a thing. But I got me the Cuban and a taco and some fries. And Rob got... A burger and two tacos. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how... Well, I already know how the food is. Honestly, I've been saying it all trip. Royal Caribbean's food is way better as far as cruise food compared to like Carnival. Um, I would say Norwegian's up there with Royal, but I do like Royal's food and Royal service. Now again, to those who are going to say it, cruise food is cruise food. There are specialty restaurants, but what I mean by this is better is that on the private island of Norwegian's, burgers and hot dogs, chicken. We've got tacos. We've got a Cuban sandwich. Yeah, so it's it's a little bit more options and I think better, honestly. Yeah. So as far as cruise food. Let's try that Cuban. The Cuban? I'm gonna see. It's good. Not the best I've ever had, but honestly, on a day like today when you just don't want a burger, this is something good. Robert does it better, but let's try the good. taco. Which one did you get, the chicken or the pork? Both? Okay. Good? Yeah, so it's, it's different than just burgers and hot dogs, which they do have. But if you want something different for lunch, you know, you're on a ship for a couple days and all you're having is burgers and hot dogs, something different. All right, we're gonna enjoy this lunch. We're full. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it was really good lunch, I mean, but we don't even want dessert. Mm -hmm. That's how full we are. So we're gonna head back to the beach. Well, Actually, not back, back to, to the, the beach, pool. back to the pool. Oh, to kind of give you an overview. So, right here, back there, if you can see where those blue umbrellas are, that's a man-made lagoon. So, kind of like at the beach, but it's man-made. And then the beaches are on the outskirts of the island. So, there's plenty of places to sit. As you can see, two ships are here and we were able to find a table in the shade. So not so bad for a mega ship and a medium ship in port. This is very true. Yeah, if you're on a mega ship and you're first, grab yourself some stuff. But no, it wasn't so bad. We, we were able to get a seat and there's still plenty to walk around, so. Yeah, so. I'm gonna we're, head back to the pool. We're gonna head back to the pool, relax, and chill. All right, well, we're gonna go take a dip and um i just want to say one expression it's cold it's cold okay yes it's cold we're not going in all the way because it's a little chilly and i mean really chilly but as hot as anything out here i gotta say compared to when we were here last when it was a 30 percent capacity it was a lot less people and it was only one ship here so the pictures and the videos are gonna be like it looks empty it's not so bad but it's yeah. two ships here, a mega ship and our ship. Yep.
coming up to the straw market. This is where you get all your souvenirs for Coco Cay, Bahamas. And I believe this is where the locals are, correct? Yeah, some of them here. Some of them here are locals, so they may it not take the room section. key. So in the previous vlog, they had their own little section, but it looks like they moved them over here. Yeah. I'm trying to follow, follow the line of the zip line pad. I don't see it. Yeah, There's I don't see it either. Well, she has better eyes than I do, because I don't see it. I don't see anybody doing the zip line. Yeah, we have here the Wacky Seagull. And it's a bar here that's on the beach. Den. So this is all kind of like when you first get off the ship and you go to the left towards Chill Island. That's the beach area. So when you're coming off the boat, hang a left. And the beach area has your shore excursions, your bars, and things like that. But there's bars all over. But if you're looking for the beach, Chill Island, they have all the stuff plus the straw market. To straight back to the right is the pool area. And then as soon as you get off the pier, walk towards the right, you're going to see the water park. All right, well, we're heading back to the boat. Yeah. We're getting a little toasty. And... I always wanted to do the whole day. But the sun tires you out. Yeah. And although I wouldn't mind a nap, I don't want a nap getting burned. Yeah. So look at that view. Two of Royal Caribbean ships, the Oasis of the Seas and the Independence of the Seas. Look how big the Oasis of the Seas is compared to the Independence. That Oasis ship is a big ship. That is a staircase and a half just to get up to the top oh of that slide. Goodness. But I mean, I'm sure the slide is great. But, oh, wow. I don't know about them stairs. Mm -mm. So now we're heading back. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that turtles and dolphins. And the sand. Yeah. And this is Captain Jack's. This was another eatery that they had. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got wings and fries in there. Yeah. Oh, that says that perfect day at Coco Cay. Chill Island. Chill Island. Okay, the question of the day. What? Did you have a good time? I did. Coco Cay. Yes, I did. Look at that. And that back there is the stage. We are now in the middle of both ships. Our room should be right up here. Right here somewhere. Up here somewhere. See how close we are to them? See how close this is? Look at that. That's how close we are. Look at a hot tub that's right next to each other. They could wave to each other and say hi. That's how close they are. That's how massive this ship is. Don't forget if you're new to our channel click like and subscribe share our channel and help us grow so that was our day here a perfect day at coco k we are now on our balcony well i'm showered and changed robert <laughs> is still at the beach technically it's five o'clock somewhere and we are getting ready to watch the ship set sail it looks like an apartment building and i can literally touch them and ask them for a cup of sugar yeah that's so how close we are we're Check gonna sail away watch Look how close they are. Like our one of our hot tubs hangs off the ship and literally can almost touch them. But Oasis is still lining up for people. We had a few pier runners, but our gangway is up, which means that we should be leaving very soon. Very shortly. Yep. But it was a fun day. At Coco Cay. Look at that water. So yeah. beautiful.
like this ship is taller than ours. Look at this. It towers over us. Yeah. Look at that. These are probably the suites up here. Oh, yeah. It's gotta be. That's gotta be a suite. We are out to sea. We had the Oasis of the Seas, which I still can't believe is such that is a huge magnificent ship. ship. I never seen it in person. I only saw it out in the sea, but I never had it docked with me at a dock, and oh my god. Yeah. Goodbye, perfect day at Coco Cay. Yep.